there is a little bit more of science to bottle babies than just give them a bottle. There's, there's a lot, I learned the hard way that there's a lot more to it. Good morning, it's Monday morning, two days before Christmas. It was really quiet. <laughs> now they're starting to come to life. Four o'clock in the morning is early, but it is so peaceful. I say that now because I've been doing it for a month. It's not as it's not as painful. Yeah, no babies again. The one thing I noticed with this group, now I know I have to ex expand this pen a little bit more, this one. But it looks really full. It, it yeah. seems congested to me for stocking density. Like this group over here, I want to show you this group. Notice how this group over here has a lot of room. There's only like 29 U's on this side. Um, they have a pretty big pen space there. <sighs> I don't know. I was considering I haven't decided yet, and I might wait till the lambs are older so they don't lose their mom. But I was considering making, because these guys are basically the same age, I could treat it as one pen and, and actually take down some of these gates. And then they could have both sides to roam in these pens, and then there'd be more square footage per ewe and per lamb. I don't know why I feel like that side seems, maybe I'll wait and, and make a judgment call once all my lambing pens are down over there. It's just, it's not quite as big as it should be yet, but I don't know, it's just a gut feeling. Uh, back for a mid-morning check. I don't think there's been any lambs yet today, but there's a few things. I wanna go around with the bottle, check that number 89 lamb again, make sure it's drinking or drank. Um, any other ones that look maybe like they've, I just, I just try for a few days to make sure, sure they're getting enough off mom. And I also have to clean out that milk machine. It should be done every couple days. It should be done every day, but it gets done every couple days. Doesn't look like there's any babies. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bottle. What are you doing? What are you doing? How about you get? Where you go? Where you go? Come on. Right there, hard left, hard left. You missed it. Oh my god, they're so cute. All right, well, this pen looks still okay. Okay, this is the pen that I had the questionable lamb in. So they're in the corner, the triplets that I'm looking at. 89, so I'm gonna go over there and look at them again today. The rest of them look pretty happy. Oh, and you're hungry. Mom, are you not feeding this? Oh, I did leave three on her. 
I got one. I'm gonna pull this one. As soon as you see them stealing, they're not eating. Okay, I'm pulling you. Well, that was good. I'm glad I saw that. I forgot that I had left three on that one, that, that latest one that had quads because none of them would take a bottle. So that's what I mean. I try for a few days because sometimes because they're so little, they do get enough. So you have to really work on them. And once they start growing, because they grow fast, they need more. And if mom can't, mom can't service three very well. <laughs> My hands are full, aren't they? Okay, let's put you with your new friends. Okay. Look it, got a new friend. Time to clean this out. First thing I do is turn it off onto, onto manual. Okay, so see how that, that's like two days and it starts to gum up on the side. You don't want that because that's not good. So what I do is dump this out because it'll, as soon as I take off a hose or anything, it's gonna dump out. And then the dog drinks it, because she likes it. She's my taste tester. Here you go. Bon appetit. And then it's got a little spot here that you can add water manually. So that's what I do first. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to be facing it, it mix and get the get majority of the heavy off of it. I'm going to actually just stop it. Now I'm going to dump it out. So today some of those older bottle babies, the ones I pulled off the first group that lamb, they're heading into their second week of life, like full week of life. I like to start introducing creep feed, which is which is basically a supplement pellet. I'm gonna start feeding them that today as well as a little bit of water, introduce some water to them. Whenever there's a big feed change in lambs that are growing, they can get what's called grain overload and they are protected. Lambs, the ones that are still with their mom, if you remember, when I uh, hoof trip, when I hoof trim this group, I also vaccinated them with a vaccine called Tazvax, and that's the protection these lambs are supposed to be getting through her milk. But because I've pulled these lambs off, they no longer have have the protection. They have a little bit because I left them on them for the colostrum. But really, if like for longevity and for how much they really, really got. Uh, I learned the hard way, because that's what I do, that they do not get enough, uh, in my opinion. So I, my vet actually, we start, we started using this. It's a Clostridium perfigens type C and D antitoxin. So I give this uh, when they're a couple weeks of age, basically when I'm going to introduce something new. So I will give them a, a dose of this now, because I'm going to, I'm going to lay out some creep feed for them. And then what I'll probably do Usually what I do, this is three weeks of protection. Three weeks just happens to put them on almost the exact same time as when I wean them, which is another highly stressful period and another time that they're gonna substitute the milk that they're used to for a whole bunch of grain again. So again, they're gonna eat way more than, than they're used to and then they could potentially bloat and die. So I will actually do a, another dose just for added protection. I don't know if it works, but all I know is the first year I didn't do it, uh, the lambs were beautiful. They ate a lot of milk replacer, which milk replacer is, is expensive. I don't care who you get it from. It's expensive to bottle raise, bottle raise a lamb. It just, it's not, it's not ideal. It's better if mom can raise them. However, it's worse if after you've weaned them, they die. So after I weaned them about five or 10 days later, I had a lot of lambs just die. And I didn't know what it was. I always learned the hard way, hard way. 
Uh, so yeah, so now I just do this for insurance. It's, it is what it is. I think maybe you can use Tazvax on them. I'm not really sure. I just think this is, this is what my vet gives me, so that's what I use. Anyway, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to put it in my Gallagher, and I also put under activity that they are a bottle lamb, and then that helps me when I sort out information on the computer. I know which ones are bottle babies, which I like to keep track of. I'm not going to do the younger ones. They're not quite there yet. I'm not introducing grain to them yet um, because they're only about a week old. So I will introduce that maybe later this week or early next week to the to the younger lambs. So that's why I kind of spaced them out. Uh, there is a little bit more science to bottle babies than just give them a bottle. There's there's a lot. I learned the hard way that there's a lot more to it. <laughs> squirt of paint on the bump, and then I don't forget who I did. a little feeder and I'm just gonna put a little bit of grain there and I'm gonna give them a little pail of water and then they just can just nicely just transition onto it keep it kind of away from the milk because I want them to kind of come over here this pen will get made bigger as I get more lambs but for now they're okay I do always go back there. If you're gonna go back there, I can move this out. Move it to like there. There. Now you can go on both sides. These guys want it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get them a pail of water, but also I'm gonna build their little creep area for these lambs. Because again, they're the same age as these guys, so if I'm giving these guys that, then they will need it. But the thing is, I don't have to vaccinate these guys because hopefully they've had it passed on. They've had their immunities passed on through their mom. So I'm hoping that they're okay. So here's a little creep area. It's not very big. The lambs aren't big yet, so everything can be expandable. I just want them, just want them to get introduced to it because I still am thinking about maybe combining these two pens, and I haven't. I don't want to lock myself in that I don't have options. So I'm just starting with this little area for these guys first. So there's their little area. My daughter Jess likes to call this the lamb lounge. It's a place where they can hang out and be teenagers without the hover mothers wanting to be a part of it. They do want it because they want that. But you're not allowed. You have this. You guys are smart. Oh, found the water. It takes them a long time to drink the water. They don't really need it because they're drinking off mum, but it's just nice to get them used to this stuff. Oh, 
Well, it's the night check. We just got home from uh, Christmas shopping, starting and finishing Christmas shopping all in, I don't know, a couple hours. It was kind of a zoo. Anyway, it's time to check the barn. I didn't see anything on my cameras while we were shopping because I'm neurotic and I kept checking. I wanna check my bottle, baby, because the one I pulled off today would not drink for me this afternoon. So I wanna make sure it will, if it doesn't drink out of the machine, I'm going to feed it a bottle by hand because I don't want to leave it all night without drinking. And then Carissa comes tomorrow and she is the best bottle baby trainer on that thing. She just has the patience of a saint. Hmm. I don't like the look of my little triplet there. I pulled her out of the little pen and put her in here the other day. But I don't really like how skinny she looks. And I don't like that she's hunched. I might actually put her in the back in the other pen. So I don't like that. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, me baby. What's the matter? Here. You go in here. Yeah, you're used to that one. Yeah, you like that one. Well... Looks pretty quiet. Okay, so nothing again tonight. There's a few really close though. I just noticed this ewe back there is letting other lambs steal off her, that purple one. So now I gotta figure out who that is for the morning. Is that an 89? That is, wait a second, 59, you're in the wrong pen. Little monkey, get out of here. Go see your mom. Go find your mom. You're in the wrong pen. Okay, so that's a perfect example. This divider is right there and I forgot to move it. So that's why that lamb got in the bunk and got in here. So now it's got to find its mom. Go. You're not in the right pen. You go. Go find your mom. There's mom. That's your mom. That's your mom right there. Lamb. There. No, right there. No, behind you. There you are. There you are. There. See, there's three on her, so she... I might have had to take one off, you guys. This is why you gotta have eyes at the back of your head. These guys are already eating the creep. crazy. Usually it takes them a little bit to get used to it, but that's amazing. 